Hello and welcome to Ants Denmark. The ants we are looking at today is our Campanotus necoborensis. These guys are having a, I'll show you them later, uh, the formica ant farm, the uh, circular nest type looking um, nest. <laughs> then they have, they have their tubing with two exits, so I can add stuff into their small outworld, which they haven't started using that much yet. They have started eating outside um, the last couple of weeks, and you can actually see, if I zoom in, maybe we can be lucky to see a small worker munching right there. So I guess it's just behind the um, the edge right there. So we'll just take it up a bit. Sorry for the vibrations. And there we go. There she is. Isn't she lovely? So yeah, that's one of the Nicobarensis uh, girls. Hello. And uh, she's looking at us thinking, what the heck? And you can see something that you maybe won't see that often, well, my mess obviously, but this stuff here, this is a prawn, um, I'm not sure what it is, but prawns usually use it. I've seen it uh, of one of uh, the persons that I look very much uh, up to on uh, the Nick of Rancis ants, uh, he uses it in his ant setups, so when they become enough, they 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 will sit in this and uh, hang about, so which is uh, pretty cool, and then of course, the water. So they also ha always have access to water. All right. So the more exciting part. Let's get a good zoom in, All right? And you can see my Mesa Barbaros. She's uh, laying over there. All right. So here we go, and I think. The queen is actually on this side. She was earlier today. So let me just take this up. Oh yeah, I think. So there's a bit of a glare and the zoom is not the best. So there's a big pile of eggs there. And yes, her Royal Highness is actually right there. And there's some eggs down here. There's eggs down here. There's a lot of eggs all around. But yeah, you can actually see she's right there. It's very cool. And they have been uh, just exploding in numbers. I think there was like 20 when I got them. And now, well, just just look at them. There are so many. It is nice. Very nice. And they are keeping very busy at all times. I have no clue what's going on on the other side of, um, of, the, of the nest. But this side... With with all those eggs, I mean, holy moly, they're gonna have an uh, explosion in numbers very soon. Um, I have had some uh, questions about the heat map below, and they kind of like it semi moist uh, because they also reside in um, in dead wood and rotten wood, so it will always be moist where they live. So they they do enjoy it so far. And they tend to keep, um, well, the ne the eggs were here first, then they moved them up here, and uh, a few weeks ago they had uh, the eggs uh, the eggs all the way down. So, yeah, I guess they're just moving them until they find the right space. So, uh, yeah, but the these are well, these are enjoying themselves. It looks like so. There's going to be an explosion in their numbers very soon. Let's just put this down. There we go. So yeah, that is my um, so far small uh, Nicoborensis setup. So these two are obviously made, so I can add more of the uh, the large nests. And I'm gonna poke a Formic Ant Farm to see if he can make some that are even bigger, because I like one nest instead of several small nests. But uh, we'll see. If not, then I need to build something in wood myself, which would be kind of cool. But uh, yeah, 
So that's it for this week for my Nicobrensis. And uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, the work of which you are seeing right there is uh, going. Oh, 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 there it goes. Oh, no, no. Gotta hide. Gotta hide. Now, ah, okay. So thank you for watching. Remember to like, comment if you have any questions, and uh, subscribe for more updates. All right. Catch you later. Bye bye.